Hey everybody, it's Chris. Welcome back to the channel. Today we're gonna to be getting into a crucial topic that often gets overlooked, proper tire inflation. It's not just about keeping your tires filled, it's about understanding the consequences of having the wrong tire pressure and how it impacts various aspects of your vehicle. We'll cover safety, ride quality, tire wear, wear patterns, inflation considerations, GVWR, your gross vehicle weight rating, and even touch on aftermarket modifications that can affect your tire and its performance. What happens when you have the wrong tire pressure? Well, it's not just a matter of inconvenience. Incorrect tire pressure can cause severe consequences. From compromised safety to a rough ride or even premature tire wear, there's a lot at stake here. Maintaining the correct tire pressure ensures optimal traction, handling, and even braking performance. Driving with underinflated or overinflated tires can lead to increased risk of accidents, especially driving during emergency situations. Now let's talk about ride quality. Proper tire inflation contributes significantly to a smoother, more comfortable ride. Incorrect tire pressure can result in bumpy and uncomfortable driving experience, affecting not only your comfort, but also the overall handling of your vehicle. Tire wear is another critical aspect affected by tire pressure. Underinflation and overinflation can lead to uneven wear patterns, reducing the lifespan of your tires and potentially causing alignment issues. When it comes to inflation, it's not one size fits all scenario. It's important to consider both static and dynamic loads of your vehicle, emphasizing that the ideal air pressure depends on the weight distribution during various driving conditions. Understanding your vehicle's GVWR is crucial. Exceeding this rating can impact performance and your safety, highlighting the importance of adjusting tire pressure based on your specific load and requirement. Many of us love customizing our vehicle with aftermarket additions like front and rear bumpers, winches, roof racks, bed racks, and rooftop tents. These modifications affect the static load and why it's essential to adjust your pressure accordingly. Towing adds another layer of complexity to the tire pressure equation. This is a consideration you need to make when towing to ensure your tires are equipped to handle the additional loads. Here is a common misconception. The maximum PSI listed on your tire sidewall does not mean that's the ideal pressure for your vehicle. Following this number blindly can lead to suboptimal performance and potential safety hazards. This recommended air pressure for your tires isn't one size fits all kind of answer. It actually depends on a delicate balance between two key factors. Number one, your static load. This is the weight of your vehicle itself, including all the fluids, passengers, and any other permanent modifications like those additional bumpers and racks, things like that. Think of all your car's base weight. Number two, dynamic load. This is a temporary weight added to your vehicle like cargo, passengers, people you pick up on a road trip, or your trailer when you're towing. It's constantly changing, depending on your driving situation. Higher static load, more air pressure, needed to handle the additional weight. Adding passengers or cargo, bump up the pressure temporarily. Unloading, back to your regular pressure for optimal performance. Lastly, for all you pickup truck owners out there, did you know that in the front and rear tire pressure, they can be different? Typically, the front tires will run higher pressure as they handle the steering, braking, and have more weight on them. The rear tires typically run lower pressure because they support the bed and the cargo, but less weight overall. Check your owner's manual. It'll have the specs for both front and rear tire pressures based on different load capacities. Well, there you have it. This is a comprehensive guide to proper tire inflation. Remember, it's not just about keeping your tires full, it's about understanding the unique needs of your vehicle to ensure safety, ride quality, and optimal performance. Proper tire pressure gives you better braking and handling, reduced tire wear, a smoother ride, less rolling resistance, which gives you better fuel savings. If you found this information helpful, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell for more valuable automotive content. Until next time, safe travels.